Hi, ladies, I'm here. Beth from Be Style here. Time for Tipsy Tuesday. Can't believe it's Tuesday. I traveled, I was away this weekend, traveled yesterday, so it feels like Monday. And I woke up and I was like, oh no, it's Tipsy Tuesday. What am I gonna talk about? But I have some great tips for you today. Um, I'm not as prepared as I sometimes am, but I these are these are tips that I share all the time that are so easy, really, they are, and they're really they're really impactful. And they're tips that you can use every day with your everyday looks. You don't have to buy anything. They're just little tweaks. They're not even tips, they're tweaks. So it's Tweaksy Tuesday. Um, all right. Last, the last two weeks, we kind of got into some technical Tipsy Tuesdays talking about types of pants to have, types of shoes to go with what pants and lengths and that kind of thing. Uh, if you miss those, you can catch them on this page or go to my website, Be Styled by Beth, and all my Tipsy Tuesdays um, can be found on my website, linked on my website. Today, I want to talk about just little tweaks, little things you can do with your everyday outfit. So I'm going to kind of start from the top of your outfit. I'm going to talk about your shirt, your top. Um, and I'm going to use the good old chambray. This could be any kind of button down shirt, or really any shirt, just the, the same concepts apply. But let's talk about like, oh, this is a chambray denim shirt. What you want to think about with a shirt like this is is how to kind of make it look styled without going overboard, right? So here, here's what I do. For one thing, you don't want it to be buttoned up too high, um, unless unless you, maybe you're putting a, a you know a crew neck sweater over it and you want the collar to be connected. Then, then you're going to button it up. But if you're just wearing it as your top layer, maybe under a jacket or a cardigan, I like to leave a button. Leave it, you know, try to leave it as open as you can without being, you know, showing things you don't want to show. So if if you, if you're buttoned way up here, try unbuttoning that button and see if with the bra you're wearing and with your level of comfortableness and modesty or whatever that you feel comfortable. A shirt like this has a lot of structure, so it's not gonna like fly open. It's gonna still stay pretty pretty close, but it's just gonna look a little more, a little more relaxed, a little more modern. So first thing is open up that neckline. So an open neckline is in a lot of cases better, showing some skin up above. You're like, well, Beth, you're wearing a turtleneck, or I'm wearing like a cow neck today. Exactly, like my sweater is, is does not have an open neckline. You know, it's not a tight turtleneck, it's, so it has, I'm showing my neck, but I, it's sleeveless, so you're seeing some skin here. Not for long, because I'm gonna put a sweater on and we'll talk about that, but you know what I mean? So showing some skin, showing your these bones, your clavicle bones, um, are always, not almost always, gonna be a, a good idea. Um, not every single day. I mean, you might want to wear a crew neck top. I'm not saying you can't wear crew neck tops. You can't wear ballet tops. That's not true. But for most women, um, having a little bit of open neckline, showing some skin here, makes your torso elongated. It's it's just more flattering. Just try it. Take pictures and take a selfie of two alternatives and, and tell me if, if you think I'm wrong. Okay, so we're going to open up the neckline, show some skin. Okay, the Next most important thing is something we should all do every day, and that is rolling those sleeves up. I think that's probably the first suggestion I give all the time to my new members um, is, you know, often, especially if, you know, it's cold out, you know, we have these long sleeves on, I will demonstrate, and they're coming all the way down like to our hands. And you know, if you're home, working from home and you're freezing, I'm not going to tell you, you got to scooch up your sleeves. But if you're going out and you want to look your best, I want you to consider cuffing and then Scooching. Scooching is my technical term. I'm going to demonstrate it with this fabulous cardigan that I'm happy to put on because it's freezing here. I don't think it's even 60 degrees. It's rainy and cold. Ah, oh, that feels good. So I'm going to, hopefully my camera is at the right height so I can stand up and show you a little demonstration about sleeve scooching. <laughs> you might already do this, but I, I see a lot of people who don't you know, who have their sleeves long like this. Now, the problem with that is it just, it just doesn't, I just don't think it, look as, it looks as good. It looks, um, I don't know the word. I don't want to say frumpy, but it's just not, it's not great. For one thing, if you're concerned about the, your width, you know, a lot of us are, you don't want to, you don't usually want to look wider than you are. Look at how this 
compares to the technical scutch. You see the difference? You're showing, it's that showing skin, showing your lower arm, your wrist. Everyone has beautiful wrists. Everyone has beautiful hands. All everyone does. So show them and it just gives a better look. So you've got that versus that. Easy. Everyone can stand up right now and switch their sleeves. I mean, if you want to know how to, like with my chambray shirt, if you want to know how to cuff it, like the J. Crew way, um, I can show you. But it'd be easier, honestly, for you just to Google it. How to cuff the J. Crew way. It's like a big cuff and then you turn it up. I, I don't get involved in all those, like, fancy little hacks. You can find those on the internet. There are people who will sing and dance and show you how to do that. It's not that complicated and you can find it on the internet. But the point is, the reason they're doing that is because it it's more flattering because it's showing your lower arm, which is, you know, the thinnest part of your arm. Anytime you can show skin, it's going to be more flattering. Okay, so we're opening our neckline, we're scooching or cuffing or rolling our sleeves. Okay, now let's talk about number two, balance. You're going to want to always make sure your, out, your outfit is balanced. And Things change, styles change, which make it makes it complicated. You know, we used to wear skinny jeans and tunic tops. That was what we wore back in the, I don't even know what year it was. Anyone know what year it was? 2010, less earlier than that? I don't know. It was, and riding boots. That was kind of our uniform back in the day. The reason it worked back then doesn't anymore. Don't be doing that now. But the reason it worked back then, because I talked about this back then, is it, it gave that balance. The more voluminous top, worked with the fitted pants. Well, now that has all changed. We're not really doing that anymore with some exceptions. What we're seeing now are looser trousers, looser pants. These are a, these are faux leather because I'm feeling sassy today on Tipsy Tuesday, but they are just a straight leg trouser. Back in the day, not even that long ago, even, even like last year, I think I wore more, much fitted, more fitted faux leather pants. You're not gonna see those this year. Um, you know, for right over, if you want to wear them with tall boots, I could still think it's going to look great. In which case you are going to wear a, a longer top, but the more current look is more of a trouser, more of a real pant, which is good news for a lot of us, right? I mean, leggings as pants was never really something that I loved other than at the gym. So these are a loose fit trouser ankle length. That's another one of my tips we're going to get to but they're looser, they're not skin tight. So you're gonna to wanna to make your top, your, your underlayer especially, shorter. You don't want loose pants or wide, you know, if these were wide leg or loose pants, um, that those ba the baggier kind of voluminous flowy pants, we'll call them flowy pants, loose pants with a big loose top because then everything's just loose and loose and it just looks unproportioned and sloppy and everything's going to look bigger. Your whole body is going to look bigger. You're not covering anything up by doing that. It's just, a, it doesn't work that way. It's going to make you look bigger. So you want with your looser pants, you want a more fitted top. I'm not saying it has to be, you know, a bodysuit or really form fitting and tucked in. This top that I have on as an example, I, you know, I, I could consider doing a tuck with it, but you don't need to because it is already short or it's not, you know, it's not a belly shirt. I'm not showing my belly, but it is shorter. So it kind of does it for me. I don't have to tuck it. If I were wearing, um, you know, a, a sweater like this, that's still not as, it's not a tunic, but it's still a little bit. This one actually, I could leave this untucked as well because it's shorter, but if it was longer, I would do a half tuck and fold it in and, and bring up, the length of my legs, show more of my legs and this part of my body is gonna make my legs look longer versus if it was down here with the loose pants and then a big loose. So balance, slim on the bottom, you're gonna go looser on top. Looser on the bottom, you wanna go slimmer on top. Now not to be skin tight, slimmer and, and shorter, little, little shorter, either through a loose half tuck or if you don't like to tuck, a shorter silhouette, short, 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 shorter top. You know, great if it maybe has a little bit of an angle to it, if it's not cut, cut right across, um, that's a great option. This doesn't really have that. Um, I know an example. 
Here would be an example of a great, it's black, so it's hard to see. This is a shell and it's got some nice structure. So it's not loose and voluminous, but it has this subtle peplum feature. So it gives that structure that you need on top with the looser bottoms, but it's got the belly forgiving peplum that kind of cinches in a little bit and then it just has this nice fabric that floats over. Um, and this could be worn on its own or as a layer underneath a jacket cardigan, what, uh, like with what I have on. Like this, this would be fabulous with my black pants because um, the leather kind of has the sheen and this is, you know, nice and matte. And um, this is actually from Cabby. I just got it and it, you can't, it's, I was sort of like, hmm, I don't know if, if that's even worth it, if I would need that. But now that I have it, it is, it's a, it's, it, it's, it's an amazing shell base layer because it's special. It's got a neat angled neckline, v-neck, it's a little um, asymmetrical and it's, it's like incredible material. So it's, it's soft, but it has some structure and some oomph to it. It's, it's not a t-shirt, that's for sure. Uh, but you could wear it very casually or very dressed up too. Um, this is a winner. But just to give you an example of a structured top that doesn't need to be tucked. Because I know a lot of people don't like to tuck. Um, so balance was number two. Number three is talking about pant length and showing your ankles. Um, you know, it's gonna get colder and maybe you are gonna wanna wear long, longer pants um, and, and then you might be wearing booties and it's, you're not gonna be showing your skin once it's really cold. But right now, it just looks great to, have, to show the bottom of your leg, to show the top of your foot, um, especially if you're wearing like a sneaker. Whenever you're wearing sneakers with pants, which, which everyone's doing, it, unless they're a wide leg pant like we've talked about, which I'm, I do, I do, I'm getting used to that. If it's a straight leg, slim fit denim, for example, or like the pant I have on, I wore these, I wore these this weekend with these sneakers and it was great. Even my son complimented me. Um, you want, you don't want the pant to come and cover up your ankle. You want, you want it to be a little bit, it doesn't have to be cropped per se, just a little bit so you see that skin. Can you see my foot here? You see, you want to see that skin. If these were, if my pants were much longer, they would be covering up my ankle. And that just is not as modern and flattering of a look. Your ankles are your thinnest part of your whole leg, right? So you want to just show that. You don't, it, it's, it's just a very modern look. It takes some getting used to for a lot of us, but um, try it, try it. Snap a picture and see what you think. It doesn't hurt to try, right? It's free to try these things. Um, next, I'm gonna see if I have any questions. I know. Next is um, the top layer. I can't see. So top layers, you have your cardigans, you have jackets, you have denim jackets, that kind of thing. Of course, like everything else, they, they, they're changing things on us. I remember years ago, the, I, used, I sold so many of the peach ponty knit black blazer. It had like a C, I used to talk about how it was great because it was kind of short and fitted and, and shaped like a, a C, so it nipped in, in the waist. And I'm not gonna tell you not to wear those jackets, um, but if you were going out and buying a new jacket or a new blazer, first of all, you're not going to find those. They aren't really on sale most places, but they're, it's not, it wouldn't be a good thing to buy new. The newer silhouettes of jackets and blazers are a longer, more relaxed style of a, of a blazer. Um, that's just, that's just, that's what you're seeing and that's what's available. And it's a great look for most people. It really is. It doesn't have to be oversized. I mean, you're going to see the crazy doodle, really oversized, you know, and the, you know, wearing them just like, like, looks like you're wearing your grandfather's blazer. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, I'll try this on. So really go with my outfit. Eh, I guess it could actually. Um, it's, and this is from Amazon. I will link this. This is, I've, I've had this for a couple of years now. It's not that new of a trend. Um, and they, and this is probably a little less relaxed boyfriendy as some of them that are out there. You'll see double dressed ones. This is kind of a, a good middle of the road for a lot of us. Um, and I'm gonna scooch my sleeves up. See the difference? Not scooched, scooched. Just, it's just a cool look. Um, and this, this, a silhouette, a jacket in this kind of silhouette is 
just going to be very modern looking and very, very versatile. Um, you could wear this in lieu of a cardigan, for example. And you might say, well, it's just so worky and dressy. It doesn't have to be that way. You gotta get out of that mental, you know, if you, if you don't like blazers, that's one thing. You don't like blazers, but if you like them, but you think they're too dressy, trust me, you're gonna, you see them with denim, with dresses, with very casually as well. Um, and it's just a good, it's just a good throw on piece. You'll see them just over your shoulders, if that's a great look. Um, anyway, but this kind of style, it's a little bit longer, not, not the really fitted short ones aren't as popular. Um, you're also going to see, you know, on the flip side, there are the shorter kind of, they call them the lady jackets. A lot of times they have like a crew neck and, and gold or pearl buttons, very Chanel-esque. That's very popular too. And that looks great, especially with like a, a looser, wider uh, pant because it's shorter, cropped. You know, it's, it's, and that's just a style aesthetic thing. If you like that look, it's kind of very, it's called the lady jacket. It's a very ladylike classic look. Very, very on trend. Um, so I guess as far as things like layers go, my recommendation would be to consider just investing in maybe one piece that is very new and modern, but still classic. The beauty of what's on trend right now is classic is having a moment. Very minimalist, classic, chic, you know, um, dressing is very on trend. So it's sort of a, an oxymoron, right? It's cl classic minimalist dressing is on trend, like go figure, but that's good for us classically oriented girls, right? Um, and so maybe invest in something that's, that's in a current silhouette and it will just, especially if it's a top layer, like a jacket, it just immediately takes the things you already own and makes them look that much better and more modern. Um, okay, so last but not least, my favorite is accessories. Um, accessories are the finishing touch to every outfit. And um, I want to talk about this necklace. I'll take this jacket off. This necklace is a, one way of kind of cheating a V-neck. If you, if you love wearing V-necks, but you want to wear a sweater like this, which I did today, I, I love a... I just, I like, I love sleeveless um, turtlenecks, cowl necks. Um, and for, with a sweater like this, I don't know if you can even see it. I chose to put this, it's called a, this Y necklace because it just kind of fills in this area. It create, it's not too, it's not like, ooh, dear. We live near the fire department, sorry. It's not like got tassels and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. It's very dainty and elegant, but it just gives that Y, that vertical line down, down my front. So if you're wearing a turtleneck or a cow neck, a long necklace like this, whether it's a pendant or this Y necklace from Flirty Finds, shout out to Jamie at flirtyfinds.com. Um, that's, that's a great way to kind of cheat the V, I call it. If you're wearing your chambray shirt or even like that chunky sweater, as it gets cooler, the materials are getting, you know, chunkier and more substantial. I love then to go with a more substantial necklace. Now, we've talked about in my groups this, you know, remember the statement necklaces from, I forget what years that was too, or, you know, the, the big baubles and bangles and, you know, glass and color. Those, those you're not seeing. Sorry. They were fun though. We had a lot of fun with those. Um, but what you are seeing is, is, you know, metal, gold or silver, and probably mixed metals too. I still love mixed metals, but my two examples are one is gold and one is silver. First one is this one, this is this, uh, this I've had for years. Jamie from Flirty Fine still sells these. It is spectacular, very, very, very expensive looking, but it's not expensive. I don't know the price. I think it's 38. It's really a great statement necklace that's still very modern and on trend without, you know, it's, and it's an outfit maker. And with a casual chambray shirt, I wear this all the time with my chambray shirt because it, you've opened up your neck, neckline, and it just fills it in and it, it just gives it that oomph. It's just good, good, good. Especially with against the denim versus like or something really small and delicate with this. Maybe in the summer, yes, but this time of year, I like a substantial modern necklace. This is a great example of a substantial, 
I call it a statement necklace, but it's it's modern. You'll see a lot of gold gold links, gold chain necklaces, um, and all different price points. You pick that are are just a great way to to finish off a chunky sweater, a shirt like this. Where's my gold one? Oh, I just got it, and it is a new favorite. Oh, here it is. Look at this one. This is an example of just a multi-chain gold necklace. So it's, you know, it's probably 18, 16 to 18 inches. And if I were wearing gold, I would wear this um, necklace with a, a, you know, a shirt or with my V-neck sweater. And just simple, simple, but spectacular. And it really, you can, you can wear this every, every couple days and just change your whole look with it, with, with necklaces like this. So, um, and then with a, with a substantial necklace like this, you're going to want to keep your earrings simple. Um, with the silver one, I would wear, I, I would probably would not even wear these with this. Pardon my head. I, it, if I was getting really dressed up, I would. But for every day, I would wear my tiny little either CD studs or I have tiny little like huggy, silver huggy hoop earrings um, with, with this necklace. With this one... I would wear, they actually have these gold, a gold hoop like this, just a smaller, modern gold hoop with this. And, and just that one little addition to your outfit brings it up a huge knot, notch, brings it up a notch. Um, and it's not hard to do, ladies. None of this is hard to do, is it? Maybe I explained it and made it sound hard, but it's not. I know you can do it. And I know a lot of you already do, and I'm preaching to the choir, but um, I encourage you to try. Just just put a little bit of just another, an extra minute worth of effort into your everyday look, and you'll, you'll feel better, you'll look better, and you'll have a better day. No question about it, all right? If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I posted links to what I'm wearing um, above, and if you are interested in any of these links, this necklace is from Cabby. Um, the silver one is from Flirty Fines. And uh, my these earrings are the Flirty Fines two-inch silver hoops that I wear daily. I chose to wear these because I have like the high neck line and this necklace is pretty dainty and kind of pretty far away from the earrings so they didn't overpower it, but... Um, that's all that all comes into the whole balance issue too. balancing your accessories is important as well okay so sorry I'm a little scattered today I hope some of those tips were helpful and made sense to you and you'll give them a try and if you haven't already joined the fall style system this is the kind of stuff we work on and we and I tell you the ladies there they get so much value out of it and they learn so much and it really changes the way they dress without buying a ton of new clothes. Um, so I encourage you to join. You can find the link to that at my website as well, which is bestyledbybeth.com. B-S-T, be styled without the E, bestyledbybeth.com. And um, reach out to you if you have any questions. And I'll go, after I stop, I'll go and look at all your comments if you have any questions and answer them there. So go back and check. But thanks for being here today, ladies. And if you haven't already, go just get dressed and have a great day. Mwah! Bye for now.